Email hygiene is often neglected by average users. Most do not consider an email address to be sensitive information. It has become indispensable these days, with most websites making it mandatory for registering or signing up for their services. I see many of my relatives, friends and colleagues often using a single email address to create multiple accounts across many web applications. Also, there are some who are security conscious. They may have an email address or two for creating legitimate accounts on web applications where they may need long-term access and a fake email address for logging into websites like newsletters, news websites, blogs and the like. Either way, this is not good email hygiene. To be honest, I was like this a few years back. Even after I became security conscious, I never had a system or strategy for email hygiene, at least not until I heard the email strategies episode on Michael Bezell's Privacy, Security and Ocean podcast. The discussion between Michael Bezell and Justin in this episode got me thinking. They emphasize having a system for email hygiene and rightly so. I highly recommend you listen to this episode. They give you some great tips and I was inspired to create this video after listening to it. So what's the deal? Well, an email address is sensitive information, just like your password. You usually require an email address and a password to log into a web application. But the fact that only passwords are typed out in asterisks has primed us into believing email addresses are not sensitive data. But why the paranoia, you may ask? Breached credentials are quite a hazard. Most times, passwords are hashed, not email addresses. They may be sitting there in plain text. And to make things worse, data breaches, unfortunately, have become quite common. So this paves ways for bad actors to employ spam and phishing attacks. If your email address is public knowledge, bad guys could scout around data dumps to check if they could get a hit on a password corresponding to your email address. And one of the main concerns is the fact that most web applications make use of your registered email address to help resend your account passwords. So if your email is hacked, it's game over. Your email address, if you haven't realized it, is a window into your digital life. Try to recollect the number of applications you may have registered to with your email address. So what could you do? Now, before discussing further, let me tell you, there is no one right way to do it. Any strategy is subject to your level of paranoia. How robust do you want your privacy and security to be? It's subjective. But here's what you could do. Designate your email addresses. Never use your personal email address for registering to web applications. Share it only with friends and family. Have a separate email account for banking and other financial services. Again, never use this email address for any other purpose. Have a separate email address for registering to social media websites. Use a unique email address for shopping and e-commerce. And finally, use a junk email address for purposes like signing up to newsletters, blogs, forums, and other websites. So the idea here is to not have a single point of failure. Having just one or two email addresses where most of your accounts are linked would prove to be risky. However, I understand this could be quite a hassle. So here are two things you could do to make this task easier. Use burner email services like Anonadi or Simple Login to create multiple burner email aliases. So rather than having to create multiple email addresses, you could create burner email aliases on the fly and use them without having to risk giving away your real email address. Email providers like ProtonMail and Tutanota give you the option of creating multiple aliases under a single account. So if you could spare some cash, these two email providers would be a great option. Not only do they give you the option of creating multiple aliases, but they are also end-to-end -end encrypted services, which is great for privacy. All that being said, exercise caution when it comes to using burner email services. There are chances web applications may block the burner email alias, potentially blocking you out of your account. Use them only for junk services. Do not use them with applications you may want to have a long-term relation with. But at the end of the day, it's not enough to just create a strategy. Secure your email accounts. Use unique passwords for every email address created. And this goes without saying. Activate two-factor authentication. Don't get complacent as a result of having unique passwords for your email addresses. I would suggest activating two-factor authentication in all your email accounts. Create dedicated recovery email addresses. Now, many would consider this a stretch, but I would suggest creating two unique email addresses for the sole purpose of being recovery options. Never use these email addresses elsewhere. Make one the recovery option for all your email addresses, including your second recovery email address. Make the second recovery email address the recovery option for your first recovery email address. And most importantly, create your recovery emails with hard to guess usernames and activate two-factor authentication.